In today's video, we are talking about some of the brainwashing techniques that narcissists, sociopaths, and psychopaths will use on a target. These tactics are critical for breaking down the target's self-esteem and feelings of confidence. And unfortunately, they are extremely effective at changing the core beliefs that the target has about themselves and the world. And I strongly believe that survivors of narcissistic abuse need to know and understand the specific abuse and manipulation techniques that their abusers used on them in order to heal and prevent something like this from ever happening again. So today we are talking about the specific brainwashing techniques that pathological personality disordered people use on a target in order to break them and gain control over their lives. But first, if you are new to my channel, I would like to invite you to please subscribe and be sure and hit that notification bell because I put out new videos every week. Also, if you are interested in private one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions with me, or if you would like to join our new private community called the Recovery Circle, both links are located in the description below. So today we are talking about some of the different brainwashing techniques that pathological people will use on a target to gain control over their life and beliefs. And the first one we're going to talk about is exaggeration of flaws. One of the most insidious brainwashing techniques used by narcissists is their constant exaggeration of the victim's flaws. Narcissists are skilled at identifying any perceived weakness or imperfections in their target, and they exploit these relentlessly to undermine the victim's self-esteem. What may start as a minor critique or casual remark soon turns into ongoing campaigns to convince the victim that their flaws define them. The narcissist magnifies and distorts these shortcomings, often to absurd degrees, leaving the victim feeling inferior, defective, and unworthy. And this constant barrage of criticism makes the victim more dependent on the narcissist for approval and validation as their sense of self-worth becomes eroded. Over time, the victim internalizes this distorted view, making it easier for the narcissist to maintain control and manipulate their emotions. This exaggerated focus on flaws becomes a powerful tool in the narcissist's arsenal, keeping the victim in a constant state of self-doubt and insecurity. Next, they will use dehumanization. Dehumanization is a core brainwashing technique employed by narcissists to strip their victims of their sense of self-worth and individuality. By treating their target as less than human, narcissists gradually diminish the victim's identity, reducing them to mere objects or extensions of themselves. This often manifests in behaviors such as belittling the victim's emotions, invalidating their experiences, and disregarding their basic needs. The narcissist systematically erases any recognition of the victim's humanity, making them feel unworthy of empathy, care, or respect. This emotional abuse leaves the victim feeling invisible, insignificant, and powerless. As dehumanization takes root, the narcissist imposes their own needs, desires, and perspectives onto the victim, expecting blind obedience and complete emotional submission. This victim becomes nothing more than a tool for the narcissist's ego, forced to cater to their every whim. Over time, this dehumanization process isolates the victim, causing them to question their inherent value and further strengthening the narcissist's psychological control. By stripping away their humanity, narcissists effectively break down the victim's will, leaving them vulnerable and more easily manipulated. Next, they use induced confusion. Induced confusion is a powerful brainwashing technique that narcissists use to destabilize their victims' mental and emotional clarity, making it easier to manipulate and control them. Narcissists achieve this by constantly shifting their behaviors, words, and intentions, leaving the victim in a perpetual state of uncertainty. One moment, the narcissist may act loving and kind, only to flip into coldness, cruelty, or even rage the next.
This inconsistency creates a chaotic emotional environment where the victim can never feel secure or grounded. Narcissists also use gaslighting, intentionally distorting facts or denying past events to further deepen the confusion. They may contradict themselves, manipulate conversations, or twist the truth so convincingly that the victim begins to question their own memory, perceptions, and sanity. Over time, the victim becomes mentally disoriented, unable to trust their judgment or interpret reality accurately. This confusion makes the victim more vulnerable to the narcissist's influence as they start to rely on the narcissist for clarity and guidance. Next, they use intellectual bullying. Intellectual bullying is a tactic narcissists use to dominate and belittle their victims by undermining their intelligence and abilities. Narcissists often position themselves as intellectually superior, frequently dismissing the victim's thoughts, ideas, or opinions as ignorant or unworthy of consideration. They use condescending language, overcomplicate discussions, or engage in relentless criticism to make the victim feel intellectually inadequate. By constantly pointing out supposed flaws in the victim's logic or understanding, the narcissist creates a dynamic where the victim starts to doubt their intellectual capacity. This form of bullying may involve the narcissist using their knowledge, education, or rhetorical skills to intimidate or belittle the victim during conversations. They may deliberately use complex jargon or convoluted arguments to confuse and frustrate the victim, making them feel inferior or outmatched. Over time, the victim begins to second-guess themselves, avoiding expressing their opinions or ideas altogether for fear of being ridiculed or dismissed. The purpose of intellectual bullying is to erode the victim's confidence in their cognitive abilities, making them more dependent on the narcissist for decision-making and guidance. By establishing themselves as the smarter or the more knowledgeable person in the relationship, the narcissist further tightens their control, ensuring that the victim feels powerless and intellectually submissive. Next, they are notorious for using double binds. A double bind is a manipulative technique often employed by narcissists to place their victims in situations where they are faced with two contradictory choices, both of which lead to negative outcomes. In these scenarios, no matter what the victim chooses, they are set up to fail or be blamed. Narcissists use this tactic to create a sense of helplessness and confusion in the victim, making it feel impossible to make the right decision or escape the manipulation. For example, the narcissist may demand that the victim be more independent while simultaneously criticizing them for not being attentive or submissive enough. If the victim asserts their independence, they are punished for neglecting the narcissist's needs. If they prioritize the narcissist, they are chastised for being too dependent. This creates a no-win situation for the victim, trapping them in a constant state of anxiety, guilt, and frustration. The double bind erodes the victim's sense of agency, living, leaving them feeling trapped and unsure of themselves. Over time, this technique breaks down the victim's ability to trust their own judgment, making them increasingly reliant on the narcissist for direction and approval. By controlling the victim through these impossible dilemmas, the narcissist deepens their psychological hold and reinforces the victim's emotional dependence. Next, lots of them use spiritual abuse tactics to brainwash a target. Spiritual abuse is particularly damaging brainwashing technique narcissists use to manipulate their victims by exploiting their faith or their values or spiritual beliefs. Narcissists may weaponize religion, spirituality, or even moral values to control, shame, or dominate their target, often twisting sacred teachings or spiritual principles to serve their own agenda. 
For victims who hold deep spiritual beliefs, this kind of abuse can be especially disorienting uh, and traumatic as it strikes at the core of their identity and sense of purpose. Many times, narcissists will present themselves as spiritually superior, using their supposed moral authority to belittle the victim, making them feel unworthy, sinful, or spiritually deficient. They might use scripture, religious rules, or spiritual philosophies to justify their abusive behavior, convincing the victim that they must endure suffering or submit to the narcissist's control as a form of divine will. Additionally, they may invalidate the victim's spiritual experiences or beliefs, claiming that their own understanding of spirituality is the only correct one. This form of manipulation can isolate the victim from their spiritual community or support system, leaving them feeling abandoned not only by their social network, but by their faith itself. As a result, the victim may begin to question their spiritual worth, lose their sense of connection to a higher power, or believe that they are spiritually flawed or condemned. Spiritual abuse further entangles the victim in the narcissist's web of control by turning a source of strength and guidance into a weapon of oppression and fear. Next, they will use identity erosion. Identity erosion is a subtle yet highly effective brainwashing technique that narcissists use to gain total control over their victims. Over time, the narcissist systematically breaks down the victim's sense of self, making them question who they are and what they stand for. This is achieved by constantly undermining the victim's thoughts, values, opinions, and beliefs. Narcissists often do this by belittling the victim's personal preferences, ridiculing their passions, or dismissing their individuality as unimportant or foolish. The narcissist may even impose their own identity onto the victim, expecting them to adopt the narcissist's viewpoints, behaviors, and desires. As the victim's personal identity is chipped away, they become increasingly dependent on the narcissist for direction, validation, and a sense of purpose. The victim loses touch with their core self, often becoming a mere reflection of the narcissist's wants and needs. This identity erosion leaves the victim feeling lost, confused, and disconnected from who they once were. With their sense of self compromised, victims find it difficult to make decisions, set boundaries, or escape the toxic relationship. The narcissist's ultimate goal is to reshape the victim's identity entirely, making them easier to manipulate and control while ensuring the victim's world revolves solely around the narcissist. Next, they will use emotional blackmail as a brainwashing technique. Emotional blackmail is a manipulative tactic narcissists use to control their victims by exploiting their emotions, fears, and vulnerabilities. This method involves the narcissist using guilt, fear, or obligation to pressure the victim into complying with their demands or behaving in ways that serves the narcissist's interests. The narcissist creates situations where the victim feels trapped. If they don't give in, they are made to believe they will face severe emotional consequences, such as abandonment, rejection, or intense criticism. A common example of emotional blackmail is when a narcissist threatens to withhold love, approval, or affection if the victim does not behave as they wish. They might say things like, if you really loved me, you would do this. Or after everything I've done for you, how could you say no? By framing their demands in this way, the narcissist makes the victim feel as though they have no choice but to comply or risk being painted as the villain. Next, they will use blame shifting. Blame shifting is a classic brainwashing technique used by narcissists to avoid accountability for their actions while placing responsibility for their wrongdoings squarely on the victim. Whenever a narcissist is confronted about their behavior or mistakes, they turn the tables, accusing the victim of being the cause of the problem. This constant redirection of blame serves to confuse the victim, who may start to question their own actions and begin doubting their perceptions of reality. 
In blame shifting, the narcissist will often twist situations to portray themselves as a victim, leaving the real victim feeling guilty, ashamed, or responsible for the narcissist's behavior. For example, if the narcissist lash lashes out and engages in hurtful behavior, they might say, I wouldn't have done that if you hadn't upset me, or you're the one making me act like this. By doing this, the narcissist dodges accountability and creates a narrative in which the victim is always at fault. And finally, they will manufacture jealousy. Manufacturing jealousy is a manipulative tactic narcissists use to deliberately provoke feelings of insecurity, envy, and inadequacy in their victims. By intentionally creating situations where the victim feels threatened by another person's presence, the narcissist gains power and control over the victim's emotions. Narcissists may flirt with others, praise someone excessively in front of the victim, or even compare the victim unfavorably to others, all with the goal of stirring jealousy and emotional turmoil. And this tactic plays on the victim's fear of abandonment or not being good enough, keeping them on edge and desperate for the narcissist's attention and approval. By making the victim feel as though they are in competition for the narcissist's affection, the narcissist reinforces their own sense of superiority and importance. They enjoy watching the victim's emotional reaction and may even use the victim's jealousy as proof that the victim is irrational or overly sensitive. All right, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Also, follow me on my other social media platforms. The links are in the description below. Thanks for watching, everyone.